Russia doesn't stop its barbaric attacks. And again, it has struck Ukrainians' critical infrastructure. During the night, all across the country, killing innocent civilians and causing serious damage. That's why we have to continue supporting Ukraine. Yesterday, we discussed about this military support. This was the main subject of yesterday's meeting with the Ministry of Defense. Today, with the development ministers, the purpose was the reconstruction of Ukraine. On doing that, we are putting the base for the future of Ukraine. And we have been joined by the Deputy Prime Minister, Alexander Kubrakov, who shared uh, his vision with our priorities. Let's be realistic. The reconstruction will be the next huge task. And the longer the war lasts, the higher will be the damage. And it's also clear that Russia must compensate for the enormous losses and damages caused to Ukraine and its people. It has to pay for the cost of rebuilding Ukraine. Then we discuss about the multilateral development banks reform. There are many discussions on how to make these banks fit for purpose. In an age marked by ever more pressing global challenges, especially climate change, that was not a problem 20 years ago, and natural disasters that unhappily they are more and more frequent, as well as pandemic, poverty, and fragility in many states around the world. The world has changed, and we need these institutions to change with it. Today's discussion, Minister, was very much needed and timely and interesting. Everybody talks about the reform of the World Bank Group, but we also have a World Bank. Our European Investment Bank is bigger than the World Bank from the point of view of the amount of uh, loans. People don't know that, but our European Investment Banks gives more loans to development than the World Bank. It's our lending arm, and also we have the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Both are part of our Team Europe. They are European banks. They are part of our Team Europe approach, and also reflecting on their business model on how to respond to the new challenges. We know that this is a complex reform process, but we are very much committed to it, and today there has been an important step on this direction.